Hi everybody and welcome back or maybe welcome for the first time. If you are new here, I'm Taylor and I do um, vlog style videos on the life of a small dairy farmer. And so welcome and please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you like these videos. But otherwise, getting into it. Um, so it is night milking time and I am here milking alone and I figured I would take the opportunity to show you guys um, what all milking in a stanchion barn or a tie stall barn um, entails. So I just got here and the first thing I did was, you can see the barn is ready. Um, we got it ready this morning for tonight. It's all bedded and everything, so that's ready for the cows to come in. They are still out to pasture, so I will have to go get them with the four-wheeler. Um, you can see we fed them a bale. That is the calendar. The wind was blowing crazy and the calendar fell down. So that's just the calendar. But you can see that we fed them a bale that was kind of strawy. It was a wrapped bale, but it was really um, coarse, I guess. And they didn't really care for it, so they didn't eat much of that. Um, oh, it actually broke the calendar. No, it didn't. I lied. So I'm just going to put some hay over the top of that and hope that they eat a little bit more of it and then we'll probably sweep it out sometime this week because they're probably not going to eat all of it because they're extremely fussy. Anyway, so the first thing I would do when I come in is come into the milk room, start my water for my wash, and also make myself a pot of coffee because we got a coffee maker and y'all is the best thing ever to have a coffee maker in your milk room. It's so convenient and awesome. Um, so I'm gonna start the wash, and then while the wash is going, I'm going to go put a bale on the bale and roller. Um, just get it ready to feed out in the barn. So yes, I will do those things. Uh, I forgot to mention, another thing I would do is usually the bale and roller is in here, um, but Brent put it outside, because he was gonna put a bale on it before he left, and he didn't because I told him I could do it, so. For anybody that's like, why are you milking alone? It's because I chose to. My boss said he could get somebody else to help me, and I didn't want to because I like milking alone. He always offers to have somebody else help me, um, but I always deny it because it's kind of nice to be alone every once in a while. So, um, another thing I would do is I'll put this outside because this is always right here. So, I'll put the sawdust cart outside. I will be using the Kubota with the bale grabbers to pick up one of those green bales over there. Actually, I think I'll be picking up ones over there on the ground. Um, I put the bale and roller this way, so I can put the bales on that way. If I was putting it on with the skid steer, I would turn it sideways because I'd have to roll them on with the bucket instead of place them on with the grabbers, but y'all understand that. Let's get to it. You can see some of the cows are up here. I can see one right there. Um, but I did see some out in the pasture when I was driving up, so... I will have to go get them.
later after the cows come in, and then we'll be ready to feed them. Uh, I forgot to mention they don't get cornmeal at night. Uh, they get their cornmeal and mineral ration in the morning, so I won't have to do that. I'll just have to go around with this bale, and then I might put one out back for them later um, so that they can all go out and eat that as well. So now I have to go get the cows. So. Obviously, now would be a great time. I got water on the screen. Four wheeler just ran out of gas, so now I'm walking anyway. So, get inside, girls. Come on. Go, Patty. You don't even matter, but come on. Come on. Oh, look who's stuck in the pasture that you're not supposed to be in. Just like you do every night, huh? Come here, and I'll open the gate for you. Okay, step over it. Oh, we gotta go around it? All right. God knows it's scary, but you can go in there, but you can't come out. I like to get electrocuted for grass. Okay, so the cows are all up. I got very wet because it started raining. Um, so I need to shut these doors. I turned on the lights. And... I will put this little handle up to keep him from walking through here because there are two cows that decide that they want to do that every time. So, turn on all the fans. And I will close the side door just so no one sneaks out. And I will come over here and I will turn on the barn water. You can the reason we don't leave it on is just because we have had a pipe burst before and it makes a heck of a mess. I always gotta make sure I get up there quick because there's two cows that will try to escape. So I figured out the hard way that while hooking the cows up alone, the best way to do it is to just hook as many cows as you can as fast as you possibly can before they decide to take a different stall. So that's my tactic here. Okay, so I've got one side done, practically done, and now it's time to start on the other side. And there's a heifer up front, so ignore that. And another cow just went in over there. That's what I'm going to start calling it. Musical cows. Alright, so now that I have a good majority of the cows hooked on both sides, I typically will go up the middle and I'll um, push the cows into stalls that have decided not to take a stall at all. Um, typically heifers um, and just really indecisive cows. Also, I have to put the bull outside because he's right there. So, everybody's pretty concerned about the tripod. Then the next part is to actually milk them. Well, after I feed the bale. I'm getting things messed up here. It's time to put the milk right together. And if you've seen this before, then fast forward if you find this boring. If you want to see a more in-depth version of how I get the milk room ready, um, you can go to one of my other videos. I don't remember which one. But one of my videos, I do explain how to put the milk room together. I will 
carrying the machines down three at a time. So that I only have to make two trips. Because I do milk with all six machines when it's just me, just because I find it easier. I'm milking with four because I'm very used to um, having three machines on a side, so it would be confusing if I didn't, so. carry down the other set of machines and then I will get the bale undone, um, carry the cart down, and then we're ready to begin milking. The plan is to get milking by 5 o'clock and as it stands right now, uh, I might make it but it's questionable. Might. Somebody's not sure what to think about the camera. their bail and they're enjoying that and I have about 10 minutes so I'm gonna sit down with my cup of coffee and a magazine of equipment that I could only hope to one day afford and I'm going to sit and enjoy that for a minute Okay, so I've got the machines on the very last cows. Um, my treated cow is right here at the end, which is very convenient. You can see she's got a leg band on. Um, so I'm going to wash all these machines except one. I'm going to leave one out for her. Um, I'm going to go in the milk room and wash all those machines. And then I have to change all the pipes over in the milk room so that I make sure that her milk is going straight onto the floor and not into the tank. So let's do that. Just to make sure I collect all the good milk from the 
um, regular milkers. Um, and then I will be taking the pipe out of the tank um, and putting the machine on the treated cow. I'll milk her. I swept all the um, hay into the cows while I was waiting for the milk to siphon over. Um, so they've eaten all of that. And after I get this cow milked, it'll be time for them to go out and I will haul out the barn and run the wash through the milk room and then I will be done for the night. Um, so I kind of have to get going because it is very dark outside. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Bye guys!